Hey guys, one of the questions I get asked most about here on the channel is how long does it take to learn Django or similar? This is a question which can be very hard to give a good answer to because it really depends on the situation you are in and similar. But in this video I want to talk a little bit about this, so maybe I can clarify it a little bit for you. Number one, people learn differently. Some people like to learn by doing. Some people like to learn by reading documentation for a specific programming language. Some people like to go through hours of videos here on YouTube. And some people want to go to school to learn things like programming. And the point of this is that even such a small thing like how people learn can very much impact how long it takes to learn how to program. And number two, people have different backgrounds. I know that many of my subscribers doesn't know anything at all when they start learning. And some of you already know programming like PHP, but you want to jump into Django. And then you already have a basic understanding of how things are connected and similar. And maybe you're just genuinely interested in computers, so you know a, a lot of things, but you don't know anything about programming. So that's a little bit about the different backgrounds you can have. And if you don't know anything at all, you will most definitely use more time to learn programming than someone with a techno technical background. But it's not necessary, because some people learn very fast. Number three, it's a big difference between learning Django and actually mastering Django. So you can learn the syntax, how things works, you can build simple websites and similar. But as soon as you hit an error or you are set to build a specific part of a project or you want to build something on your own, then you need to know more than the basics of Django and web development. And to find errors, you need a deeper understanding of what's going on under the hood. So you need more experience working with Django or something else. Also, when you start learning something, you might think that you have learned it and you understand how it works. But as soon as you're giving a task or hit an error, you might discover that you are not really understanding what you are doing or how it actually was working in the first place. And learning to see the big picture, uh, learning to build big projects, how they are structured, a similar task, this takes a lot of time and experience. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. Number four, how much time can you spend per day? It's a big difference between uh, spending 10 hours on a Monday than two hours, five days in a row and in my opinion it's much better to spend two hours per day in five days or two hours per day every day than many hours on one day because you need to keep reading and watching tutorials and implement what you are learning and not just do it in one big chunk because you are not going to get it in your head and your fingers and similar so you need to keep building small projects and implement new features and similar to keep gaining the knowledge you have already started to build up. And if you're going through a tutorial or a video, then try to go further than what you have learned there. You can try to add more features, you can try to change specific part of a tutorial and similar. Number five, people have different meanings of what learning Django actually means. Does learning Django means that you can get the job and that you're ready to start working or does it just mean that you're able to use it to build a simple website? And all in all this is a very hard question to give a very good answer to because it can span from a few weeks to years on how much time it takes to learn web development or Django. But at least I hope that this video has clarified this a little bit for you guys out there. Also remember that experience and the willingness to learn is the most important skill or part of learning Django or something else. Keep building projects, show them in your portfolio or on GitHub. That's the way to get a job. 
Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit like below and remember to subscribe if you want more content like this. See you in the next video.